Xander J. Yo, I got something to get off my chest, yeah. So can I ask you for my request, yeah. Hold my hand, be your man, so dance in the rain, huh. Then get hit by hand wet, let it take the strain. Let's take it back like a left dance, back her raps or track pants. Wait, I was about back then, so this store just passed hands. Two things up my grocery list, goes like this, a day and a kiss. Wish her lips were up on the table, she was a girl from Ace of Fable. Can I be real? What do I feel? I gotta talk, got on peel, blowing a rock. Track, hold this pressure, feel some stock. Uh, uh, just got that. Go to the pocket, read my good job. Said she's owning me around my poetry, so no motion for you. I wanna say, yo, I got something to get off my chest, yeah. So, can I ask you for my request, yeah? Hold my hand, be your man, so dance in the rain. Uh, don't get if my hair wet, let it take the strain. When the DMs raise and see him, damn, being it, it's gonna keep him, damn. I got no response, well, she might need a puff. So, I'm just living, that I was chilling, damn, so hot. So I wish I told her Yo, I got something to get off my chest Yeah, so can I ask you for my request Yeah, hold my hand, be your man So dance in the rain, uh Don't get hit by hair wet Let it take the strain Yo, I got something to get off my chest Yeah, so can I ask you for my request Yeah, hold my hand, be your man So dance in the rain, uh Don't get hit by hair wet Let it take the strain To the contract bash. Of course, both players awaiting uh, their spins and everything. It will be K Kaneta versus Pidgeiro. In some special, I'll just give you a sneak to the brackets. They'll go to loser semis against Nezuko. And of course, the winner of that loser's finals, then grand finals featuring joker j at least so yeah we are on our way to the end of the tournament we got three minutes 47 seconds left until the spin drops so yeah uh, lots of excitement lots of uh, lots of uh, lots of oh my god Can't you believe it? Of course, you know, we, we wait in, we cooling down. We, uh, doing all that good shit. Both players seem not to be online, at least. Okay, Kaneda's online, Pidgeot's online. So we have that. We have, uh, yeah, both players playing their 
Pavs can verify with the uh, name at the end. I believe there's... <sighs> I believe they're the same platform. Both Epic. Yeah, we both have Epic Gamers. Which means no recreation, no nothing. Just send a raw contract. There is pluses and minuses to both. But the only main difference is the 10 extra minutes and recreation. I feel like with a uh, recreation, it can put you in a minus if you don't know where the targets are and stuff. You got to search for them around. We also put you in a plus where, I mean, if your opponent's in that scenario, obviously, but also puzzle contracts and uh, all sorts of things. Like, if you finish it early, you practically get, like, more time to do the contract. Like, even more time. So you could uh, nail it down even further. We got 1 minute 20 seconds left. Hopefully the timer doesn't freeze this time. Holy fuck. I don't know why the timer was... Uh, it always does that. During the first couple of rounds, it works perfect. And then eventually it just stops working. So I have to give it a new name. It works again. And then all of a sudden it stops working. It's fucking annoying, man. Bro, I'm fucking salty because I have no liquids in house. No water, no nothing. I can't drink nothing. Until I get over at my job. Fucking shitty situation. Also, I added a, a song of the day to my server. Don't know how long I'm going to do that. Keep it up or if anyone's going to care, but... We'll see. All right, 16 seconds until these players make the contract. 10 seconds even. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. That will be it. It will be different starting floor level. We will give 20 minutes for players to create a contract. Now, final test. Interesting thing about that one. There's only like three floors. This one's... Hey, what up, Bella? Same Bella uh, um, Frody7 posting all the time, right? But yeah, this one's rough. As there's like three usable floors. There is a fourth floor. So you could, you know. Oh yeah, of course. Anytime. Anytime. I mean, quite a bit. Quite a bit. I, I, I see your profile hanging around. So, yeah. Obviously a lot easier for scale, as in scale there's like a lot of fucking floors and shit. Like, way too many. So Pidgeot has like a lot of room to play with, while Kineta is definitely more restricted by the scene. Yeah, Kineta trying to get past through the front. It's gonna be a bit difficult.
Cool. Oh, he finds a uh, affiliate, a fishing. Meanwhile, it looks like uh, Kaneta successfully got his start. Wondering what Kaneta has planned, but probably gonna make a suit only contract with pretty hard suit only kills. Taking advantage of the limited resources. So right now, uh, Pedro going back downstairs has to be careful to make sure everyone's on a different floor. Oh, can't see mid creation. You could like memorize which locations you killed. Oh, but that falling object did not work. If he's gonna wanna use the same target, he will have to lure them over to a different level. Although I'm pretty sure that is level two the target's on. So it might not be valid question mark. Give him all you got! Yeah, out of any uh, theme to DNF on, I think this is the uh, most likely. Or to break the theme. Just by accident. Calm down! Help! Someone help me! Please acknowledge. Put it in. Okay, tell me right now what I'm missing. Yeah, I might be doing the much on the wrong side. So now to, I I'll also play some uh, lo-fi music. I know uh, Dinasso did that, and you know, of course, with his brilliance, he always has good ideas. Just need like an hour, yeah, two hours worth. Oh yeah, that, that should be good. Let me know if the mixing's a bit off. Just to give something while, you know, there, there's a lot of silence in a contract bash sometimes. Especially during the playing part. Pretty interesting what we have going on here. Pedro knocking out two guards. Might have marked one. 
Those gunshots were heard, so he's gonna have to bring a silenced SMG. That's to go over and mark the target. That might be the same floor as the guy he shoved. Good old Master of Ceremonies as Master of Ceremonies. We love to see it. Kinda reminds me of a Ted Mendez as Ted Med Mendez. The best combination. Oh no, it's not same floor. but doesn't get the second light. I believe this is the same floor as a ceremony, Master of Ceremonies, though. Can anyone please help me? I need help here. Hey, you. Oh, for an exit. All right, we've got a certified troublemaker. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. I did never see this one because it's too risky for roulette. No, don't! Oh my god, that, that scared me so much, Pidgeot. I'm sure they will confirm with themselves if it is all different floors. I love some of these contracts looking at the uh, picture. Yeah, I like the uh, Contra Kineta made. It's really good, especially considering the uh, restrictions and all. Let's 
different. Yeah, I believe they're all different on uh, Pidgey's end. Certified troublemaker. Oh, but their bodies do get found. Scale can be a uh, pretty tricky map to navigate around. Someone, please help me. Kind of hey, a labyrinth. Alright, it looks like Kaneta figured out how to get all the kills he wants. Now we're just gonna need that exit. The hard part. One eighteen by Kaneta, that's pretty gonna be pretty solid. Right, yeah, it's like people hear this SMG. Let's say I don't get why not smuggle one in at least. Like you have a smuggle place in that, you know, dungeon area. You also have a smuggle place like in your pistol slot. gunshot is that's gonna stop them from discovering the body nope never mind caster's curse Open up. all right Try to get the shots from there. Okay, 
So it looks like uh, both player, like Kinetta has his contract figured out meanwhile. Pedro, he mostly has it figured out. He just has to, like I said, bring that smuggle sh slot or as he's doing the holster. I feel like Kinetta's is significantly louder. And then is Pedro's audio muted? No. Okay, right, yeah, I hear it better now that Kinetta's isn't blaring over it. He actually has a normal time. <laughs> That's impressive. Oh, we need silent shotgun, that's why. Never thought of that. That makes sense. Paraploy, you just got here at the uh, end of creation time. Both players have their contracts. They are both valid. And now they play. You'll give players a minute buffer before they play their own contracts. Both will have 10 minutes each to complete their contracts. Crystal ball. Non reusable uh, melee item, but it is, I'm pretty sure, the fastest you could throw. So to save off, shave off some seconds, you just bring a crystal ball. I still think it would be cool if they patched in the ability to. Uh, like, bring your own items on final test. Oh, yeah, for sure. Especially on scale. Yeah, oh, Colorado would be hell. I mean, on final test, is not that good, but Kinetic definitely has found a way to do it. <clears throat> Which is pretty cool. Hey! 
Okay. Did you say loses a little time? A lot of like pausing from Kaneda. I don't know what that specific pausing achieves. That's going to be a reset from Kaneda and unconscious witness on Pedro's end. Hopefully he notices and restarts. Will do. Who is that man? I don't think the se second one was necessary. Somebody with a warped sense of humor. That's how you want to describe it. Alright, looks like Kaneda's getting a time. Ah, oh, but red guns. the bullet impact notice the janitor or custodian finds the body Does make you, uh, both players are almost there. I feel like, uh, Pidgey, even though it doesn't seem like it, Pidgey's closer just because his run has a lot less, uh, like, bullshit to deal with. While, uh, Kaneda's, there's so much you have to kind of juggle that. For the, at least the time he wants. It's probably very easy to get a time if you do the run slow, but you do it slow, then you lose because your opponent does it fast. So. Uh, 
there's a lot of specific body shots and everything. Oh, you can't just shoot him there. Three minutes left. We may go into frenzy mode. Which will give whoever beats their own contract first a big advantage. Alright, it looks like uh, Pidgeot is almost there. Yeah, it gets that Blague. It's last chance if he wants to win uh, by default, Kaneta. Made great progress, but there's so much RNG. He had runs during the uh, creation time, but none of those count. So Pedro just might win by DNF. Was that... Was that a time by Pidgey? No, Pidgey just went offline. He must have gone red gun somewhere. Good news for Pidgey. It will go into frenzy mode. Just want to confirm. Refresh on Pidgey's end.
Yeah, I'm trying to get a uh, confirmation from Pidgey or at least. We'll give buffer timer. Changes to play. And then it'll go to 30 minutes. give another minute so they could do their IDs. Yeah, they have 30 minutes for both. But they can only do uh, one run in their own. And they can't go back and forth. They have to finish their run. And once they finish the run on their own, then they're able to play the opponents. So it eats into the time where you're able to play your own uh, opponents. now well players will start yeah only applies when both players do not finish their own contract look at that chubby guard Blake Love me a little chub. Anyways, we are going to uh, experience the last runs. I feel like, like I said, Pidgey's almost there. He just needs to figure out that shotgun kill. And then Kineta, he just needs to get the right panic RNG. It's very RNG dependent. be another reset and weird body found don't let him get away right. somebody help me victor juliet 50 <clears throat> ah. Look, you need to keep this dirt 
Oh, but the lamp doesn't kill the second guy. Gonna do a reset. We're gonna blue egg them. I think this is it for Kaneta. Caster's curse. Never mind. Wolfpire's having a lot of difficulty with these contracts. So far as Ian, uh, four to five minutes of playing the other persons. This is going to be interesting how this frenzy works out. slight feeling of that too it depends on that like when the other person gets the time though just because if they both get near roughly the same time then it's fine but if the other person spends like another five minutes and only gets 20 minutes to complete their own contract then it could get rough I feel like the uh, blue egg. I feel like if uh, both these players like complete their own contracts, which they probably will, Kaneta's more likely to win, just because there's a lot of like unoptimizations, like using the blade on that guard instead of just KOing everyone in that room, and maybe a new way to do shotgun. I still feel like uh, this distraction is a little better. Come in, Central. He's got a rip. Get the jitter, huh? What's going on, buddy? Oh my god! I'm hit! Oh, last minute red guns from Pidgeyro. Literally, like the worst timing of all time. And now missing these uh, lamps, Kaneta is.
Might be... I feel like uh, it would be faster to uh, grab the pipe and do like two throws into a throw. Who knows? You in trouble, man? What is it? All right, let's go paint. Ah! Copying. Under lock and All right, now he just needs make sure that guy doesn't walk through the door. Holy Pidgey! Yo, Pidgey! That was blessed. 232. And now he just needs to get a time on Kinetis. He'll have 20 minutes to play that contract. And the red gun's from Kinetis, so he will have to do another try. Pidger are already taking a completely different route. I'm not too sure you could get to the top floor from this area. Oh, if he climbed that pipe. Oh, but I see the red herring. Will have to be an accident kill. Yeah, picture. Oh, time by Kaneda. I I missed it, bro. Dude didn't even look at the time. I 
I mean, he's moving on. I'll have to look at the VOD later. Like... Go try to lure him down here? Huh. That's clever. Will he go? Yes, he does. Oh, he's in the area. He just has to put the pieces together. You push that guy. So you got that one. That's the easy piece. Now the other piece is a uh, pit pistol distract into lamps or lights. <clears throat> One twelve. I'll write that down for now and look at his vod later. Wait, the other guy goes up. The only problem is pushing him. It's no KO. Pichiro has a very interesting route. So let me see if I got this straight. He just needs to figure out that second uh, pistol shot.
That may be an aha moment for Pidgey. Oh, but it actually gets it too late early. Oh, this one would be clever if he could get the timing. Looks like he won't. What was that? Hey. Yeah, I ain't gonna be looking at no coin. I love that idea though. Hey, Blunt, thank you for the raid. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Just watching some contract bash. Winner goes into uh, loser semis. So we're boiling down to the finals. The semi-final test, okay, indeed, okay. indeed. So it looks like it could use some help. Do I consider loser semi-finals to be the real losers finals? You know, those are the two people who grinded losers bracket. Need to find the shot. <coughs> Pidgey's almost there. I hope he gets a time. I'll have to double check the rules because I don't think this scenario happened where both players were able to finish the other's per contract. I think it goes to RTA. Which Kaneta has a significant advantage in. Oh, gonna wait for him to come to him. Oh, but does it too close to him? All right, so 
body shot, but seriously, I'll, I'll pay you. Me? You're, huh? Trying to what? go through the front like Netta oh, did. No way. But changes his mind, does his uh. original routing. It's, love, it's what we love to see with these players, having different uh, routes and everything. Well, the other guy is standing where he wants to. That's going to suck. Oh, you could just throw a coin there. Because Pidgeot's entrance is safer, should also be a safer exit. Oh, both look that way. Pedro knows he can't afford. Oh shit! What the fuck was that whoosh from Pidgey's end? Pidgey gets a time. of 237. Huh? Both players over a minute on the other's time. Assuming Kinetic gets this run. Huh. <laughs> right. I mean, he technically does have time for one more run, but... Yeah, GG's Pidgey. I mean, both kind of doubled. Yeah, no, it's like winning both, you know, it's just kind of too much. You gotta let people win other things, you know. That'd be rude of them not to. 446. 
My king's so thoughtful. He always is. 446. This will be an interesting calculation. I don't know. He just like that. So yeah, I'm going to do uh, calculations right now. Honestly, with the 446, I need to uh, fucking... Wait, no, it's 120 times 2. That's just 240. So... Oh yeah, it's challenger divided by maker. So 240, 46, that's 286. Right? Divided by... 120 plus 36 equals 156. Final test. Oh, uh, we got a couple mods in here. Can somebody ban that guy, please? Thank you, thank you. Oof. It was a close one. And fair one, yeah. So that's the calculations I got. Which would lead to a Kaneda victory? Yeah. When you say your opponent, like creator maker, right? Yeah. Or the maker uh, and then the creator. Or challenger maker. I mean, I, I think, yeah, it goes either way. So that will lead Kaneda to play Nezuko Chan. And then winner of that face Linux and winner of that face is Joker in Grand Finals. Let's get a raid going on. <clears throat> Who are we going to raid? Stream manager, ray channel. Let's give it to this person. All right. We will start this raid. <clears throat> 